Hi and hello guys, welcome to Rootdog and we are driving this, the Toyota Yaris. And guys, coming to the hood, let's open this. Uh, opening this, yeah, got it. And guys, this is the hood of the vehicle, even hydraulic studs. But while well, it's feeling light, well, compared to the other vehicles. I personally love this cover over here for the engine. This is a petrol engine that produces 107 horsepower and 140 Nm torque. Yeah, it's well refined and also silent. You only barely hear the noise and also the AC noise, that's all. You can't hear anything from this vehicle. Mm, well, you get kind of insulation over here, which is nice. And guys, coming to the front design, just like you get projector setup over here and you also get a halogen light over here and you get a regular indicator bulb and not the LED one and here coming down here you get LED DRLs which is a nice touch and coming to the chrome placements you get chrome everywhere in this vehicle you get chrome over here, over here also over here over here also over here you get chrome everywhere in this vehicle also over here this vehicle is filled with chromes, which is a nice touch, and many of them love it personally. It's coming to the side of the vehicle. This is the side of the vehicle, and the tire size happens to be 185, 60, or 15. Yes, it's a 15 inch wheel. You get all four discs, both at the front and rear. So you can see, this is the rear wheel, and you also get disc over here which is a fantastic touch and first in its segment you also get a chrome over here and guys uh, coming to the boot of this vehicle yes, you have to open it from inside yes, the boot space is very well and better in its segment and you also get uh, you get a spare wheel which is not an alloy and also uh, full size spare wheel but not an alloy it's a nice touch wheel some of them give lower size spare wheel without an alloy good touch very light and you also get a kind of uh, insulation over here which is a nice touch covering for insulation the boot space is uh, 476 liters it can fit anything over here it can even fit me over here see this one is the bag uh, which i bought it can fit it comfortably over here well you get a decent amount of boot space you also get a kind of uh, rubber material uh, which is a nice touch and you can also split the rear seat to increase your boot carrying capacity which is a nice touch you also get a light over here fantastic Toyota for giving this much attention to details coming to the rear light you get LED for brake lights and uh, you get uh, a regular bulb for indicators and reverse light you also get chrome over here chrome is almost everywhere in this vehicle and you don't get any kind of fake exhaust stuffs everything is original in this vehicle you also get parking sensors over here you get four parking sensors at the rear and two at the front i guess well coming to the uh, door handle you get passive entry over here which is a nice touch but you don't get passive entry for the co-passenger but that's okay but you get the one some of the rivals doesn't even get one it's coming to the interior the first thing you will notice yes this thing you will notice a lot because this one gets electric seat you can go front come backward you can adjust your under under tie support you can increase your ride height, you can decrease your ride height and you can also recline your seat which is a fantastic touch and none of the cars have in this segment this one has this is the brake pedal this is the accelerator pedal and this is the brake pedal the pedal placements are uh, on a good side coming to this you get traction control over here you get parking sensors, headlight leveler, engine start stop button and this is the steering wheel Coming to the interior, first of all, uh, closing the door, yeah. coming to the interior, 
this is the interior of the vehicle see it's neatly finished uh, you get some kind of Corolla essence yes this vehicle is uh, like the small small size of Corolla you get Corolla for lesser price then this is the best vehicle you can buy the, the air conditioning also cools the cabin very well this is the instrument cluster of the vehicle which is nicely finished with a blue colored theme and you also get a digital meter over here the digital this is known as the TFD display multi information display you can browse various things over here the various things are here this is the control for this display driving information uh, average total average and uh, kilometers driven your uh, gear position now it's in park so it shows p and uh, simplified viewer the time outside temperature eco the record of your driving well it's a nice touch for a vehicle at this price point the rival doesn't have this thing yeah, I am pretty sure that the rivals doesn't have this thing this one has this uh, it's a best in sale so get chrome in this display even chrome everywhere this vehicle gets chrome chrome this one is loaded with chromes and notice is that this one yes gets a tire pressure monitoring system to the steering wheel you get a neat focus three spoke unit which is neat to hold and you also have the same kind of steering wheel in the camry so you have to feel a premium thing over here and this one yes this one is the cruise control which you can see in many of the data cars yeah nice placement for the cruise control button and guys uh, this is the AC controller over here you can off your AC with this button auto temperature um, increase or decrease your uh, fan speed increase or decrease your temperature which is nicely done uh, with a glass kind of appearance yes it's a glass you also get a kind of silver finish over here silver and black finish which is best in terms of uh, reliability Coming to this infotainment system, it's a 7 inch screen which looks nice and you also get the HDMI function for this display which is a nice touch and many of the segment doesn't have except the Honda City which have the HDMI features only this car and Honda City have the HDMI feature which is nice first of all the one thing I noticed is that uh, this one feels a bit off the market because uh, you get USB port over here yes you get a usb port over here which many of the car doesn't have over here uh, they will have somewhere around here or uh, here but coming to the features the first thing is that you don't get apple carplay and or android auto instead of that you get miracast which means you can project your phone in this display which is a nice touch and you also get mirror link over here you get navigation function also yes here you get the navigation function which is nice in terms of productivity you also get bluetooth and six speaker setup and guys coming to the dashboard it's a bit hot plastic but not the bad quality one but coming to the down comparatively this one is better than this the quality of this uh, plastic is good in terms of uh, design you also get a silver treatment over here uh, which surrounds all the way to the AC vent same the case over here you get silver treatment over here that surrounds the AC vent uh, coming to start stop button you also get silver thing over here and this thing yeah you get paddles over here which is also in a silver colored one the paddles are nicely placed and the paddles are plastic but uh, it it is in a good quality the dashboard as you can see the dashboard uh, the, the dashboard is a split unit 
you get a compartment over here and also over here but it is uh, split out inside a single unit this one is a cooled one see you can see yeah it's a cooled glow box which is a nice touch coming to this you also get space over here you can open this the space is adequate yes you can keep your steps over here the kind of snacks or anything you, you can keep over here it's a nice touch coming to the seat belt yeah it's a height adjustable seat belt it's a height adjustable seat belt which is good well some of the car doesn't have height adjustable seat belt coming to this you get mirror over here no light that's okay you also get mirror the same the case over here you get mirror over here coming to this space you get some kind of utility utility space to keep your sunglass mm, this one is the light you have to press this like this yeah it's a nice touch and good in terms of quality and let's go to the, the rear yes this one is the inside rear mirror but it's not auto dimming that's okay the airbag you get airbag over here for the front driver and uh, you get a uh, airbag for the <laughs> driver knee and you get airbag over here side uh, curtain airbag and also at the rear you get airbag over there you also get airbag both the side so totally you get seven airbags in this vehicle which is also get the airbag over here for the front passenger co-passenger is coming to the gearbox yeah this gearbox also get chrome li chrome linings over here oh how many chromes in this vehicle i just count this one is the cvt one well the cvt it has the typical cvt characteristic but this vehicle this vehicle makes the cvt gearbox a fantastic one and also the Toyota's reliability also make the CVT gearbox the fantastic one. You get handbrake over here with the uh, leather stitchings, and uh, you get charging port over here. Uh, 12 volt charging port. Same the case. You get charging port. You get cubby holder over here. See, you get cubby holder over here to keep your stuffs. And this one also you get a holder over here to keep your water bottles. Same the case over here, you get a holder over here. Yes, it can fit a one liter water bottle, no matter. Coming to this power window, you get auto folding inside rear view mirror, sorry, exterior ORVMs. It's all automatically foldable. And coming to this handle, you also get chrome over here. This one is the lock, just to lock the window controls and this one is to lock central locking mm, for the windows you get automatic only for driver or not for passengers while other Toyota cars have this features but that's okay you have to compromise something while you're getting a car loaded with features and guys uh, coming to the rear yes you get a scooped out seat for the rear the space is fantastic you can yes you can fit over here i'm damn sure that this vehicle has a comfortable rear seating capacity you can sit here without any hassles as this is very comfortable to sit at the rear the seats are also very good in terms of uh, quality and also comfort you get leather seat both at the front and rear and here is the armrest with cup holders you can was this armrest you also get proper headrest for all three passengers which is a fantastic touch and coming to the rear you get sun blinds over here which you can pull and clip it over here see now you have clipped your sunrest over here which is first in its segment none of the car has even in the higher segment good touch yeah, yes. and you also get proper seat belt for all three passengers at the rear it's a nice touch coming to this place see this one is almost flat 
so you so seating the third passenger over here is not a big problem and you also get charging port over here see you get 12 volt charging port dual port fantastic touch oh my god this car is made full of features you also get speaker over here over here and this one i have to specially mention this one yeah this one is the rear ac which is uh, so differently designed and this is first in segment roof ac while some other car get ac over here and also the b pillar but for me personally i love this kind of design only this cools the cabin very well well compared to the center ac or the pillar ac this roof ac is best in terms of cooling i can definitely say say you that fantastic touch toyota you also get ambient lighting over here see over here oh this car is really amazing you can turn off your light you can turn on your light you can also turn off your ac over here and coming to this, you also get digital display over here which is best in class coming to this you get led light over here same the case over here so it's not an led but the light is good you get handles over here same the case over here handle with hook and uh, so to see it's comfortable same the case over here you get a bottle holder well it can hold a newspaper and a one liter bottle no problem it can hold to this see this one i think you can notice this they have well covered everything possible in this vehicle it, nothing is exposed in this vehicle nothing is exposed everything is covered properly even this buttons see it's not even exposed in a single way everything is properly covered in this vehicle fantastic finish well for the another thing you can buy this car is that this bulletproof reliability given by the toyota and guys this is the small walk around of the vehicle